Hey, good afternoon everyone. How is everyone today? This is Tina, the Keto Coach with Friday Night Treats with Tina. How is everyone? Hey, Instagram, finally getting you all back too. Good news, I got on this pair of size petite 8 pants and you notice I'm kind of showing my arms a little bit. Yay! See these couple of months of being strict keto and I've amped up my workout routine. I'm doing weightlifting five times a week and I'm still doing my aerobic and my walking stuff five times a week. So I do the aerobic activity first, then I do the weightlifting. So my body needs that. So those of you that don't need that, then lucky you. But I feel good and I love it. It's, I feel fabulous after I do it. I have a whole bunch of other videos and things that I use and streaming services and even YouTube to get your exercise on so it's no excuse whether you're trying to reach a weight goal or whether you're trying to um, improve your health it's always beneficial to get your exercise so definitely even if you just do it at least just three times a week and that's perfectly fine if that's all you have but you get into the regimen and the routine of getting your workout on and it feels absolutely fabulous so it's a blessing first of all to be able to do it you know, so I'm grateful and thankful for that. And also, I just want to thank you all again for watching, supporting, um, visiting my um, social media links, liking, sharing, and everything, because it is growing. I'm grateful and thankful for that. Thank you all so very much. It is just awesome. And here I am. I just really want to help people. And I'm kind of glad I didn't wait to start this after I've reached my weight, quote, goals. But being keto and carnivore has been beneficial to me in so many other ways particularly this time of year with the allergy season and everybody's going through that stuff I used to have it really really bad not no more that is a huge blessing that's a reason enough in itself to follow this lifestyle and it's also a protocol and as some of you may already know a lot of you that um, following the whole lifestyle keto carnivore Keto was orig originally started for children that had epilepsy. It seemed to be very beneficial for them. And I just want to reiterate, I'm just speaking from my own experience. I hope I can be of good support to you. Um, I'm not a doctor. I don't have any licenses in anything. I just have a driver's license, you know, although I do have masters in mental health counseling and things like that. And I like doing the coaching, helping people. Um, reach their health goals. I really don't like to say weight loss goals, but let's say health goals. Because there are people that follow the keto and carnivore lifestyle that um, have other issues or they just want their health to be optimum. And the only thing as far as eating that I have to really get into, if I can find, I'm looking for a place that um, offers the other, the organ meat of the cow, the thymus, um, you name it those different organs are good for the human body you know believe me I know like I said I'm, I'm way past my mid 50s in a couple of years I'll be 60 so I'm grateful and thankful for this journey that I've embarked on for actually for a, a long time because I like I, some of you may know that I've lost about a hundred and hundred and ten pounds so far on my journey it's taken me longer than what most people that a lot of you see on um, these different platforms and everything it takes a lot longer you know it takes longer for me but I hung in there because I saw all the other benefits and even the helping me dealing with luckily I never had to deal with issues with inflammation and it also helps that even people that have um, what is it arthritis and things of that nature this is the lifestyle and guess what a lot of former vegetarians <laughs> are coming on board to this lifestyle because they're finding that even that it may sound being a vegan a vegetarian may sound all theoretical and ah uh, whatever you may want to call it um, but they're finding that they are having some issues with that lifestyle so that a lot of people are coming on board and understand that it's okay to eat meat it is actually healthy for you good for the body particularly cow things of the cow sure you can still do the chicken and the pork and the lamb the veal the goat or whatever you'd like the seafood if you're not allergic to the seafood and everything 
even my dear sister-in-law for years I thought she was allergic to um, steaks like beef any type of beef she found out it was another thing that was causing her reaction to beef so she no longer does that it was some type of antibiotic that was doing that to her that she had to take for some other issue so as soon as she was off of that she no longer have the issue with eating the beef anymore I'm like aha uh -huh. see a lot of people are discovering and learning that so other than that you know I can talk all day about this and everything I'm just elated and excited that here I am a woman in my in my late 50s that's thriving and I want you all to do the same thing too and those of you that are younger start now so you won't have to worry about a lot of stuff later like we're not here forever nothing lasts forever that is so true but you want quality of life that's the thing you want to be able to if you want to go to Disney with your kids and grandkids you want to be able to walk around you know you want to be able to just enjoy life but no matter the length of time you're here but long as the quality is good for sure that's what you want is the good quality hey Instagram family I'm saying hey and hi thank you for tuning in and thank you Facebook family for tuning in love you all dearly so other than that we're going to get on board with this we're going to make some cauliflower mac and cheese well basically keto mac and cheese but it's basically cauliflower friends of mine ask me how come you don't do the cauliflower I'm like, ah, that's so typical everybody does that so what I did I had some fresh cauliflower that I took the bottom leaves off and I poured it out and I washed it off and everything I let it soak in water with a little lemon washed it and then I boiled it and I cut it up so I'm cutting it up now and making a nice cheese sauce let me get the cheeses I'm going to use of course I'm going to use I like this mild cheddar sharp cheddar and this Kobe Jack I think it makes great even regular macaroni and cheese some of you know that and those of you if you have a traditional family recipe you don't have to follow this just instead of the um, macaroni use cauliflower or some other type of cruciferous vegetable that you think that would go good but for the most part cauliflower is the um, the winner to give you that texture and everything it has more of the earthy taste but it gives you that texture as if like you're having actual macaroni so I'm going to cut this up some more and what I want to do I already made the sauce and I'm going to add more cheese as I go along doesn't that sound good see I'm going to add let me get another spoon or a spatula here bigger spoon okay here we go see I cut the pieces I guess you can see like that hopefully you all can see out there you know I'm gonna go ahead and mix some of this in Whoop, I'm losing some ready go ready go wanna add it back in because the table is clean for sure you know how I like I don't like to waste anything I'm gonna go ahead and mix this in mix this in And see that the, the sauce I made that with these three cheeses like a cup and a half of each a half a stick of butter real butter and I used about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream to create the sauce now my sauce is a little thick because I like you know the macaroni and cheese our grandmother's made when you cut into it I don't like it loose and runny you know and lo and behold it's good that I'm making this because I am actually having company this evening <laughs> which is always a cool thing I enjoy that so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the rest of this probably won't need all of it to fit this dish I have this this dish right here that I'm going to put everything in see it looks thick in there see but I'm going to add more so I'm going to go ahead and add this to this pan and I also made 
not bread crumbs, but the the um, pork rind crumbs. Like last week, those of you that didn't catch my show last week, go ahead and check that um, last one. I made the chicken parmesan and I used the um, pork rind crumbs. They were absolutely delicious. My family loved it, which is, that's one important thing. That's definitely important to me. So, um, made them again. I have them over here waiting. Very easy. Just add whatever seasonings you like. Depends on whatever type of cuisine that you're making. If, if it requires breadcrumbs or some type of coating, just go ahead and go for it and make it. Very easy. Go ahead and add that. And do I have my little spatulas? You know I love my little baby spatulas. I need some new ones actually. Spread this around in there. And I'm still going to add that little bit of um, cauliflower that I didn't mix in with the cheese. It will, it will be perfectly fine. Let me add the rest of this. To that put that on the side by the way when you're making the um, cauliflower you know let it sit for a while after you boil it or steam it to get the water out you know like that um, that um, clear dish that I just moved away from, it had a lot of water in it. So obviously, it was a good thing that a lot of the cauliflower, the water in the cauliflower came out, which is excellent. So I'm going to just add, sprinkle some more cheese. Like I said, everybody makes their macaroni and cheese different. I have a nephew, he loves putting pepper jack in his. He adores that. So, if hey, whatever you want. Let me go ahead and see if this is open. Oh, here we go. Okay. Add more of this to it. Like I said, I have mild cheddar, sharp cheddar. And be mindful when you're keto, be looking for cheeses, still be checking the carbohydrates and the ingredients that are in it. You don't want seed oils or none of that stuff in it. Although this is Friday Night Treats with Tina and of course we say no cheese no seed oils and sometimes you know if you tr really strict keto some don't even do cheese which is fine so this is okay because you still have to I still say you want optimum health but you still want to live a life for God's sake you know <laughs> you still want to enjoy your family and friends yes I know I've become that person if I go to a restaurant it's like okay what's this made out of what is this what's that you know uh, oh no, I can't eat this, and I'm here. I come with my purse, pulling something out that I made at home first, you know. So um, yeah, sometimes it is quite that serious for me, because my health means a lot to me, you know. And sometimes that's what you have to do. That's exactly what you got to do. But for the most part, it's fun. So I'm going to go ahead, get all this cheese off of here. You know, paste makes waste. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to add some of these breadcrumbs that I already made. Let me take off my little food processor gadget thing and take that off. And I'm going to add these breadcrumbs. Well, oh, first, you know what I want to do? I want to add a little bit more butter. I'm going to cut a little bit more butter to put on top. Let that get through. Here and there. Which is fine. Add a little bit more. 
Then I'm going to add my breadcrumbs and spread them all around. I think this one, now you know I have another one waiting because you know I have to try it and show you all what it tastes like. And so you all can see the finished product. But I think this one, I'm adding more breadcrumbs to it, which might even really be a little bit better. And to the, the breadcrumbs, I did add the Parmesan cheese. Like I said, as much or as little as you like, or even no cheese. So I'm coating this, spreading this all around. See that? Let me smash it down, then I'm going to show you. See, this is what, 15 minutes? But then you have to cook it. I'll put it on like 350 for maybe 45 minutes to an hour. See that? See that? Let me put it in the oven. Got that in there. And let me move some junk out the way. Tidy up a little bit. And now, for the encore, I think I better use these. <laughs> That's the finished product. See that? And now you know we're going to get some. Cut out a little piece. I'm going to spoon a piece out. Oh. Already feels good. Yes, and this is my lunch. Oh my goodness. Look at that. See that? Who would know that this is cauliflower instead of macaroni? Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Let's give it an old college taste. And I got the little crispy side too. I love that. I got that little crispy. Let me try to do that first. Mmm. I can't tell the difference. Taking some actually cauliflower. Mmm. I would not know that this is cauliflower instead of macaroni. I kid you not. It's a vegetable, slight, but I'm tasting macaroni, which is a good thing. Simple, easy, nice to make for your family this weekend. Look at that. Mm. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. I wish you were here. You know me, I have plenty to eat for all of you. I love to share. I'm going to finish that off for sure and probably have more. Other than that, I just want to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Tina the Keto Coach, Friday Night Treats with Tina. You all have a fabulous, fun weekend. Check me, maybe, hopefully, next week. I haven't decided.